Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a precession clipping circuit which consists of a dead zone circuit and a summing circuit. The dead zone circuit output is summed with the VI to produce the output waveform. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. You can refer to this design calculations in this particular tutorial how we have arrived with this particular circuit. I have given this for your reference purpose. You can have a look here. Now let us simulate the design using multisim tool. Now click on analog component, select all groups and in the component section search for LM741H. Click on that particular component and place this on the schematic window. Now right click on this particular component and click on flip vertically. So once this particular component is flipped which is according to our design purpose. Now click on place diode and now select all groups and search for 1N4148 diode and place this on the schematic window. Place two diodes as shown in this particular tutorial. Now once the diode has been placed in this schematic, now select the group as basic and we have to place the resistor in our design. So click on resistor and in the component section search for 3.9 kilo ohm resistor and click OK. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window. So this would be the R1 resistor. We have to similarly place 3 3.9 kilo ohm resistor in the schematic window. Now we have to search for 1.2 kilo ohm resistor and place this particular 1.2 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. Next, select the group as sources and we have to place the uh, ground connection in the schematic. So place the appropriate ground connections as shown in this tutorial. Next, we have to select the signal voltage source, select the AC voltage and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Once we have placed the AC voltage source, we have to place the DC power source on the schematic window. So place this particular source accordingly. Next, we have to place the supply voltage for the op-amp LM741. Now connect the negative terminal of supply voltage V1 to the ground and the positive terminal to the resistor R2. Connect the resistor R4 to the ground and the other end of resistor to the terminal 3 of op-amp. Connect the resistor R2 to the terminal 2 of the op-amp. Next, connect the DC power source that is V2 to the ground and to the resistor. 
connect the supplies that is VSS and VDD to the terminal number 4 and terminal number 7 and the output of op-amp to diode D2 and the diode D1 is connected to the terminal 6 of the op-amp. Connect the resistor R1 to resistor R3 and from resistor R3 to the diode D2. Connect the resistor R3 to the terminal 2 of the op-amp and the other end of diode D1 to the resistor R3 and resistor R2 and connect the resistor R1 to resistor R3. Now double click on the supply voltage source to the op-amp and make this as minus 15 volt and plus 15 volt. Double click on the V1 signal voltage source and define the peak voltage as 3 volt and the DC power source as 2 volt. Thing is that we have to do the summing circuit. So click on analog and select the group as all groups from this particular group search for component LM741 and place this particular component on the schematic window. Now right click on the component and click on flip vertically and click on the resistor select the resistor as 1 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor on the schematic window next similarly place the 1 kilo ohm resistor that is resistor number 6 on the schematic window accordingly now place the 470 ohm resistor on the schematic window and in the end place the 3.9 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window so we have to connect the resistors accordingly in order to complete our design Now click on source and select the ground connection. Place this particular ground connection near the summing circuit. Connect the terminal number 3 of op-amp to the resistor R7 and the other end of resistor R7 to the ground. Connect the resistor R6 to the diode D2 and the other end of resistor to terminal 2 of op-amp. Next, Connect the resistor R5 to the terminal 2 of the op-amp and connect the resistor R8 in between the resistor R5 and the terminal 2. Other end of a resistor R8 to the terminal number 6 and connect the resistor R5 to the voltage supply. Now click on the source and select the VDD and VSS which is the supply source for the op-amp 741. Place this voltage source accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on simulate, select the instrument as oscilloscope place this particular oscilloscope on the schematic window now connect the channel A positive terminal of channel A to the output of the summing circuit and next place the ground connection on the negative terminal connect the 
positive terminal of channel B of oscilloscope to the input voltage source and place a ground connection to the negative terminal of the oscilloscope of channel B. Now run this particular simulation and we can see the dead zone circuit output is summed with the input voltage signal in order to produce an output waveform with its positive half cycle which is precisely clipped at V reference. Now in order to do the transient analysis we will check the net value or the net name which is the net name 9 and the other net name is 6. So click on simulate, click on analyze and simulation, select transient and click output. Now remove all the variables and add the V9 and the B2 variable and also the V6 variable. Now run this particular simulation you can see the output waveform with the positive half cycle precisely clipped at V reference. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose.